In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Sack of Mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heaven the King, O oh God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord for years to come the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Today, the church is celebrating the chair of St. Peter. In ancient Rome, families they remember they are dead. Relatives and friends at a feast during the latter part of February in which an empty chair represents their decision. That was the custom even before Christianity in the Roman Empire. So the family, they gather together and they remember their dead on the months of February by putting one empty chair with them when they gather. Since the early church did not know the date of St. Peter's death, they remembered him with a fist around his empty chair on February 22. Later the, the, later the church would see the chair of St. Peter as a symbol of his authority, as the first bishop of both Rome and Antioch. That is the historical background of the, of the, uh, the chair of Peter. In the office of St. Peter's uh, Basilica in Rome, if you have been in Rome, you might have seen this. There is a famous sculptor by Lorenzo Bernini an ancient chair enclosed in sculpted bronze. It is, you can see it when you enter into the church to the Basilica of St. Peter. With the Holy Spirit in the form of the dove hovering over the chair. Just below the chair there are four theologians. Ambrose and Augustine from the West, Athanasius and John Chrysostom, from the west, from the east, from the west, from the east. To show how the great theologians from both the east and the west teach how Peter and his successors lead and guide the Holy Church of Christ. Sculpted into the very chair itself is the image of Jesus feeding the sheep. This is also significant to the role Peter and the Pope's lead have in the church. Sitting in the chair, leading and guiding the church, they are being faithful to the task Jesus himself gave to Peter. When he told him, Peter, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. This is why Above the chair along, the apse is written, 
O pastor of the church, you feed all Christ's lambs and sheep. In our first reading from the letter of St. Paul, of St. Peter, St. Peter himself exhorted the bishops of the church to tend the flock of God. Not lording their authority over the sheep, but serving with love. As Catholics, we don't resent the fact that we have popes and bishops in these leadership positions. They serve us by teaching us, helping us to be faithful to the gospel of Jesus, correcting us when we see we said we step out of the line for the sake of our souls. In the history of the church, there were many people, priests, bishops, who lead an entire group of Catholics sometimes into schism, out of union with the Pope. For them, even today we pray. There are Catholics who may not be in formal schism, but who certainly act like, like it. For them, we also pray. Because the power of prayer touches the hearts and they can accept or listen to what the church teaches. In this time, we are blessed. We have many great popes in our history very holy popes, the one whom we remember always, St. John Paul II, St. Benedict, St. Francis. All of them, they taught many great uh, things to our faith. They gave us the word of hope, the words of faith and love. Pope John, uh, Saint John Paul II taught us how to have hope in Christ when the world was filling with greed and violence. Pope Benedict taught us how to have clear and solid faith when the world was filling with darkness of error. And now Pope Francis teaches us to have love when the world is filling up with selfishness and self-concern. So because of this, we honor our popes. We listen to our popes. Sometimes things may not be clear for us. And that is the problem of our time. Some people, they say, I don't agree with Pope. I don't accept what the Pope teaches, but that is not right. That is not Catholic. Because we believe that the Pope, when he teaches, is guided by the Holy Spirit. So it is very important to be humble, to listen to what the church teaches through the Popes and through the Magisterium. So today, we certainly pray for the Pope and his successors that they may, be, they, they may continue to feed Christ's flock. And we pray for ourselves as well that we may be responsible to the voice of, of the Good Shepherd to, to be responsive. who speak us through Peter, who guides us and teaches us through Peter and his successors. So as we remember this, this is the right time for us to remember always as we do in our prayers for the Pope, for the leadership of the church. 
that they may teach the truth of the gospel. Not what they feel, not what they want, but to teach the truth of the gospel, what Christ wants the church to know and to believe. And now let us present our prayers before our loving God. For Pope Francis and all who care for the Lord's flock, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with leadership throughout the world, may Christ inspire them to grow in virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those sick in mind, body, or spirit, may God console them and provide for their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, God grant us the fortitude to be peacemakers in our families and in our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially you, Mei Lin, for whom this Mass is offered, may they receive from Christ the unfading crown of glory and rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and loving God, we present these prayers and those in our hearts before you. And we ask you to be with us, to guide us, especially as we are in this Lent season. We may ask forgiveness for all our past and present sins. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and all of Mohammedans, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept to his favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and the offerings of your church, that with Saint Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are slain. Holy, 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 Lord of God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and the mystery to you. Humbly we praise that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Archbishop, Eusebius and Daniel, Azir, the bishops, Peter, Sartan, retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be her eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, so say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ. 
for the points. So that price. 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 Better price. The 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 price. Let us pray. <clears throat> o 
O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and the blood of Christ, grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. O Lord, be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by life. Thanks be to God.